Therefore, whether you eat or drink or whatever you do, do all to the glory of God. Therefore, therefore, whether you whether you drink or drink or whatever you do, do all to the glory of God. One thing we've all come to experience in our walk with the Lord is that there are different seasons in our lives. Seasons of joy, comfort, and prosperity, but also seasons that bring trials and tribulations, leaving us with feelings of discontent, distress, even pain and suffering. We all know that residing in those places can lead to defeat that often consumes the believer. The Mars Hill Network makes a concerted effort to be a beacon of light, proclaiming the only message that can drive out that darkness, even in the music we choose to play on the air. Our music is carefully selected for its lyrical expression and musical composition, always with the attention of bringing glory to God with hope of creating a spirit of worship in the Christ follower. Music has always, for me, has been a support of the preaching of the Word of God. And since Marcel, the emphasis is the Word of God and, and sharing that with people, I want the music to reflect that and to support that. Messages we've received from listeners about our selection of music and how God has used that music to minister to them is a common occurrence. Several years ago, my husband, who was my knight in shining armor, and I were hit by a speeding state trooper. He died due to complications from the accident. I was thrown out of the window into the engine and then thrown on the ground where several bones were broken. But I was praising God for this accident because it brought me back to God. And God inspired the people on WMHR to sing the songs, just what I needed to hear to get me through that time, the first two years. It almost took me because I wanted to commit suicide, but I needed to hear the songs. And to this day, all I will listen to is WMHR. So praise God for your station and for God leading you and everyone there who has gotten me through this. Amen. Those words of support over the years have further strengthened our commitment to accomplish Mars Hill's mission in serving God and the church family. Our music director's attention to detail has assured the doctrinal accuracy of the music. As much as possible, I do some research into the, the artists to see that they're solid Christians. The first thing I do is I, I listen to the song and then I see who it's written by and then I look at the artist and see what I can understand about them if I don't know them so that it's a good representation of God to the listening audience. After I find these songs I put them on a spreadsheet that I collect and we have a music committee here at Mars Hill and so we have a, a meeting when I'm here at the, the network with this committee and we go and we listen to these songs together. Most of the time they'll agree with my suggestions, sometimes they don't, which is good. And if there's one person on the committee that has an apprehension, it gets dropped. It's got to be 100% um, because it's really important to me and I, I believe to the Lord that it's, that it's good as representation of Him. The Mars Hill Network complements its general rotation of music by its development of music programs catering to those listeners who enjoy specific styles of music. Heritage of Hymns keeps the traditional hymns alive that are loved by so many. I think in a lot of ways the hymns of our faith have kind of gotten thrown out. Uh, maybe the music's been a little bit dated, 
but you can keep the composer's intention with a little freshening of the music. I think a lot of young people have not had the opportunity to learn the hymns of the faith of the church. And I think we gotta be careful not to throw the baby out with the bathwater. Country Crossroads is a favorite for those who enjoy Southern gospel, country gospel, and bluegrass music. Because of our outreach and our, our location of our network signal, a lot of folks love the Southern gospel music. So we started uh, a couple years ago, we started with a Christmas program. It's called uh, Country Crossroads, and it airs on Saturdays um, for two hours now. We bumped it up to two hours. And that's to encourage the folks that love that kind of music and, and can relate to that. And our most recent music program, The Gospel Hour with host Sonia Hines, features carefully selected gospel artists. So The Gospel Hour uh, is bringing in a diverse music. Um, I guess some would refer to it as black gospel music, and I don't really like to say that because there may be people who feel like, well, then it's not for me, but it's for everyone. It's the same message, different packaging. It's gonna connect with a, a group of people um, that we're excited about, reaching out to meet the needs of people with the truth of the gospel and music. We still praise the Lord, we still focus on the Lord, and we're still pointing people to Jesus, just different styles of music. So it's just bringing some diverse, diverse music, gospel music here to the station. So that's kind of where we are with three, and I have another one in my hip pocket that I'm working on that I can't say anything about right now. But, um, and I think that'll be a good one as well. Well, your commitment to the ministry of the Mars Hill Network through prayer or financial support has been paramount in helping us to provide a musical format that provides hope in the journey. Great Christian music blended with our programming that indeed gives all to the glory of God.